Hello people, I'm Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So in today's video, we are continuing with our series of 8086 programming on the simulator. This is part three of that series. Yeah, we're getting better at it by the video. Of course, that's my job to keep making you better and better. So in the first one, what did we do? We saw how to accept inputs from the user display results on the screen. The second one, we started working with arrays where you accept a series of numbers that was adding the whole series. Today's program is the number one question in Mumbai University. You take the last 10 years, 15 years papers, look at all the programs that have come. This is the pick. Find the highest in a given series. Okay. It's come the most number of times. I don't need to tell you how important it is. You're smart enough to understand that. There are two versions of the program. Find the highest in a series, find the lowest in a series. Of course, we're going to do both. First, we'll do the program for the highest. Then with a small modification, three to four lines of code change, and it'll become the program to find the lowest in a series of numbers. The foundation for this program comes from the previous program. Remember, when we did the program to add a series of numbers, I told you pay attention and learn how to accept a series of numbers from the user and store it in an array. Once you know how to do that, that same program is used at so many different questions. Uh, find the highest in a series, lowest in a series, sort a series, find how many numbers are even in a series, how many numbers are odd, blah, blah, how many numbers are positive, how many numbers are negative, uh, compare two series, reverse a series. All of these questions require you to accept a series of numbers from the user, which we did last lecture. We are going to open that same file use that function to accept a series of numbers. Then what we did last time was add the series. Instead of that, we're going to change that core program and change it for finding the highest and then finding the lowest and we'll display both the results. Okay. The program is going to be pretty small because the most work is already done accepting a series of numbers from the user. That's the big part. Once you know that, that that's the way programming is. It only looks difficult from far. Only when you don't know how it is, you feel it's difficult. Once you get on with it, you, your first few hurdles are the biggest ones. Once you cross them, you get into the groove. I mean, if I'm making a video and teaching you, it's going to be a 15-20 minute video. If I have to do this program sitting at home, it's a two minute job. Once you have the previous program with you, it's just a few changes here and there, highest few changes here and there, lowest few changes, sort of series and so on. Then it's just minor changes. Anyway, anyway, I'm just telling you, once you cross the first hurdle, first few hurdles, then it just gets, goes on becoming easier and easier. It's only difficult when you don't know anything about it. Anyway, all these videos are available on my website, www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. Uh, you know how it is. Come on my website, register yourself as a user, select the 8086 course. I initially wanted to put all the lab programming as a separate course, but I didn't. I, I thought might as well just add it with the 8086 course itself. So as of now, they are all there in the 8086 course. Uh, we made two videos so far. This is the third in the series. I'll make more as and when I can and as and when students keep requesting on WhatsApp. I've got tremendous response for the first video. Also, already second video was released just yesterday and already there's response coming for it. Uh, whatever new programs you want me to add, please connect with me on WhatsApp. Mention your subscription number so that I know you're my student and then I, whatever doubts you have, queries you have, assistance you need in your programs, I'm there. I will always, I'm always uh, available to students as long as you are my student. Otherwise, you know, there are infinite doubts that you get in the day and it's not possible to solve all of them. It's obviously, I'm sure you can understand that. Anyway, hope to see you there. Keep practicing programming. Keep getting better. Wish you all the best. Do well. Be the highest number. There you go. 
how much time did it take on my timer without any edits of any extra seconds here and there it's 8 minutes 15 seconds or something like that from the time I started saying it what 8 minutes it took you to do this program that's all that's how simple programming is first lecture I told you I, I, I get pissed off when someone says programming is tough like have you even tried it you don't know it. That's why you say it's tough and you just you just make others believe it's tough and 80% of engineers finish engineering without doing coding. You understand how to do it. Somebody teaches you the right way. Yes, the first few steps are the toughest, of course. Look at the sizes of our videos. The first video to just accept input and give out output. What did we do in it? Add two numbers. So that was nothing. The main part was accept input and give out output. That was a one and a half hour video. I had to upload it in two parts. Second video, much smaller, 50 minutes. This 8 minutes is the core part except for the initial introduction and now I am going to modify the program for the lowest. But look at this, your main work has got over in 8 minutes. That's all it took for us to do this. Anyway, anyway, you want to run it again, test it for high more numbers, no problem. Emulate, come on, come on, mm. run, uh, 99, 66, 44, 33, 00, 78. It should give you 99 as the highest. There you go.